Audio effects are the spices of music production and sound design, adding flavour, depth and dimension to your mix. Whether we're talking about studio hardware processors, guitar pedals or plugins, effects are modules that change an audio signal in various ways. You can use effects to beef up your drums and bass, add movement, add a sense of space, and keep things interesting throughout a song. Hi, I'm Simon from Avid, and welcome to our Shaping Your Sound series, where we'll dive into the world of audio effects and explore how you can use them to polish your sound or completely destroy it. Tools like Pro Tools typically emulate the way a traditional mixing console manages signals, with effects patched in or plugged in to the mixer in slots called insert points. These effects process the audio running through a track in real time. One way to apply effects is directly on a track's channel. In each track in the mixer, the audio routes from top to bottom through the insert slots, then the aux sends, which we'll come back to in a minute, before being adjusted by the panner and fader. You can stack effects up in series by adding more than one plugin, and you can change the order in which the processes are applied. What you hear from the track is the sound after it's been processed by the plugins. Some plugins have a mix control, sometimes called wet dry, which lets you hear a mixture of the original sound and the processed sound. Adding insert effects to your main mix track or a submix group is called bus processing. Bus processing is often used to adjust the tone or dynamics of a whole mix or a group of tracks like drums. It can help your mix sound more cohesive and punchy. The other way to apply effects is to use a send and return routing. The send slots on the track, which are often called auxes on a hardware mixer, let you route the tracks to other places in addition to the main track output. In this template, all the tracks have a reverb send and a delay send going to internal buses. Those buses return into the mixer via aux tracks, and those tracks have effects on their inserts, in this case, reverb and delay. This setup makes it easy to blend a track's original sound with the affected sound, and lets multiple tracks share the same effects. Let's send some of the vocal signal to the reverb. To set how much of the track is sent to the reverb, you can click on the send and use the send fader. If you command or control click, it expands to show a mini send fader. As you push up the send fader, more sound from the track goes through the reverb effect and gets added back into the mix. This is a type of parallel processing where you can combine both the original, usually called dry sound, with the affected or wet sound. You can set the overall level of the reverb for all the tracks that are using that send using the return tracks fader. Most audio effects fall into one of several categories. In Pro Tools, the plugin selector groups the plugins by these types. We'll be taking a much closer look at all these effects types in the rest of this series, along with tricks and tips for using them in your productions. Thanks for watching and see you soon.